It probably comes as no surprise to you that back injuries are the most common type of industrial accident. Regardless of the job we do, we're always using our back, whether it's supporting our bodies for standing, walking, twisting, bending, and even lying down. Our back comes into play in everything we do. Just about all of our activities place some kind of strain on our back. But at no time is our back more susceptible to injury than when we're lifting. Proper lifting techniques will help keep our spine and the muscles in our back in alignment, protecting them from what's called overload. Here's an example of the wrong way to lift an object. If you bend at the waist and extend your upper body to lift, you force your spine to support the weight of your body as well as the weight of whatever you're lifting. This creates an overload condition, which can injure your back. First of all, before you lift anything, decide whether or not the object is too heavy for you to lift alone. You should also decide where you're going to put the load down. Make sure that area is clear so you're not fumbling around while you're carrying the object. The proper way to lift a heavy object is to spread your feet apart, about the same width as your shoulders. Bend your knees and squat as close to the object as possible. Hug the object as close to your body as you can. And raise yourself with your stronger thigh muscles. Always remember never to twist while you're lifting. Instead, walk step by step to where you want to go and turn with your feet and the muscles in your legs. When you're ready to put the object down, bend at the knees. Keep your back as straight as possible to avoid overload and set the item down. Remember, always bend at the knees and let your legs do the lifting. But what about some of the awkward loads that we sometimes need to carry? Long objects, like poles or rugs, can be light enough but awkward to lift and carry. When attempting to lift and carry this material, don't try to hug the load like you did with the heavy objects. Instead, support the load on your shoulder and keep the front end of the load a little higher than the back end. If the load is long enough for two people, keep the load on the same side and try to keep the object level. Another difficult situation is where the load is overhead. In this case, use a step stool or ladder to avoid overreaching. Try to lift a corner of the item to get an idea of how heavy it might be. Slide the load toward you. Grasp the item firmly with both hands. Tighten your stomach muscles. Hug the load close to your body as you descend and bring it down slowly. You should never try standing on your toes and sliding an object off the shelf. Reaching can cause back strain, and if the item is too heavy for you to hold, well, you can get a quick lesson on gravity and its hidden dangers. It's almost impossible to practice the standard safe lifting technique when trying to lift something out of a bin, container, or other storage area, but there are a few things you can do to help protect yourself. Stand with your feet at shoulder distance apart, bend your knees slightly, and start to squat bending at the hip joint and not at the waist. The movement is the same one you make when you lower yourself into a chair. Slide the load as close to your body as possible and stand up by using your leg and hip muscles. Tighten your stomach muscles as you lift the object and if possible, rest your knees against the side of the container to help support the weight. Try to remember to use the standard safe lifting procedure whenever possible. And if the load is awkward or in a hard to reach place, use the techniques you've just seen. The key point to remember is don't try to lift an object that is too heavy. Ask for help. Even objects that you know you can lift are sometimes more safely carried by two people. When two people are lifting an object, they should get into position and lift at the same time. And not all items should be carried. It's often easier and safer to place an item on a cart or hand truck to move it to a different location. One other thing while we're talking about lifting. Never lift a carton by its packing straps. These are made of either metal or plastic, and if they break, can cause severe damage to your hands or your feet if the item falls. 
Here's one last tip. If you need to stand for long periods of time, try resting one foot on a low ledge or step and switch feet every few minutes and wear comfortable cushioned low-heeled shoes. Keep in mind that a back that has been injured before is even more susceptible to re-injury. Remember, it's your back and no one will take care of it if you don't. So use common sense and practice safe lifting techniques.